Uh, I have been forced to make this video because I've been advised that there is actually a problem. There will be serious... Um, Someone has called me and told me that um, I am being debated in the Senate. I have, I don't, I can't follow. I'm in between. I'm on transit, actually, trying to get to my next meeting, and I'm informed that uh, because I'm not in chambers um, and I'm being discussed, there are some allegations and some uh, conversations that are actually not uh, uh, correct. I'm told that Senator Sifuna is talking about me being given an opportunity to defend myself and yet I refused to defend myself. First of all, that is not the case. I complained and I continue to complain and I am on record both in a written to the Parliamentary Service Commission and I'm on record as well in my personal statement and I still stay on record that the clerk of the Senate, uh, Sen um, the clerk of the Senate, Jeremiah Nyegenye, solicited for sexual favors from me and once I refused to participate in that kind of arrangement, then the retaliation began. And at first I didn't really think that he was truly retaliating until I systematically analyzed all the challenges that I've been going through. I have listed my challenges repeatedly on paper. We are actually in court, and this is a matter that is live in court. That is why you don't see me commenting on it. But Parliament has chosen to continue discussing and debating it and so therefore I have to add my voice. I have three minutes before I board um, my flight because I, I am I'm here on capacity building and I'm here also on um, fundraising for a factory in Kenya for sanitary pads. But I want to say this. Senator Sifuna is very well aware that the Powers and Privilege Committee did not invite me to give my part of the story. What they did is they charged me for complaining on uh, retaliation. I have repeatedly asked for evidence. In fact, my latest one being a letter that I wrote saying that the Senate has to release a travel report because it is obvious when the travel report comes out, it is not my word against the clerk. You will see very well what I'm talking about. You will see how the clerk is actually um, um, uh, um, using his office to, let's say, uh, real uh, certain people in terms of um, uh, compensating you with trips. There are people who are forever on flights, who are forever getting per diems uh, from the exchequer, and it is in the travel report. People are earning out of it. And the people who actually need to travel because they have to work and execute their duties as senators are the ones who are now being, um, who are being, um, who are actually suffering the consequences. But what I don't understand is, Senate is aware that I am not there, but yet they brought the motion today. Why? Because they knew that I would not get my 15 minutes to discuss this. And that is what is upsetting. So, I still remain firm, and I remain that there are sexual favors, and the senators know this. They know that the senators who are actually, they are being paid, so to speak, because they are trading sexual favors for, for legislative agenda, for trips, for so many things. And I don't care about that. That's fine. They can do that. But we shouldn't be punished. Those of us who actually came to Senate to work, I'm a legislator and I came there to work. I should not be punished because I'm highlighting an illegality that is happening. If the clerk of the Senate knows that he's innocent, why is he engineering all the systems behind it to ensure that, um, that a wrong story is being told? Why couldn't Senate wait until I'm back? Then they can put it on the order paper when I'm back, and then we discuss it. Why did they take it out of, of, of Parliament when I was in Parliament? Because when I was in Parliament and we were discussing the motion, the motion was adjourned. And then I was told we are going to discuss these things and deal with it outside of Parliament. But now, when I'm away, and they know I'm away, that's when they bring it, because I can't defend myself. I have to speak up. The corruption is there, and I'm a whistleblower, and this is what I get for it, but that's okay. But let not anyone lie to you that I was given an opportunity. No, I was charged for complaining and highlighting the corruption that's going on in Senate.